Hi, Ross here from Racetech SDS again. Just wanted to show you a few of the CNC pieces we make for uh, EFI aircraft conversions. This is our 45 millimeter CNC throttle body for small engines 60 to 120 horsepower. Commonly use this one on uh, VW, Rotax 912, Jabiru, uh, engines in that horsepower range. O-ring seal on the back, Bosch TPS. 75, 70-75 T6 throttle arms. Uh, takes two inch scat tubing here or uh, two inch air filters. This is our 60 millimeter throttle body direct bolt on for Lycoming so you don't need any adapter plate here. This is a modified production piece. Try to keep the cost down a bit. Again uh, put our own 70-75 throttle arms on here and we uh, use th the same Bosch TPS on all of our uh, throttle bodies. And this is our uh, new 80 millimeter throttle body. This is to replace uh, Bendix RSA-10 servos. Very large O-ring sealed again. Bosch TPS. Throttle arm available for horizontal mounting. This one takes uh, three and a half inch scat hose or air filters. CNC magneto cover, these fit uh, a lot of Lycoming and Continental engines. This is our fuel block here. So when you uh, take your fuel pump outlet here, fuel pressure regulator here, these are the uh, lines out to your injectors. We've got one more here for fuel pressure. These are our fuel injector bosses, available with either aluminum or steel bases. You can put uh, eighth inch pipe fittings here, either a T fitting for fuel loop or fuel rail, or a 90 degree fitting like this and a stainless steel dash three line here. For Rotax engines, we've got uh, this magnet disc here. This bolts onto your dynamo ring, the stock dynamo ring here. Bolts on here. Put your crankshaft bolt back on. This is the uh, Hall Effect sensor mount for the Rotax. This bolts onto the back of the cover. And the Hall Effect sensor here. Your magnets are mounted here, and this spins past the uh, Hall Effect sensor to send a signal to the computer. We have similar parts for the Javaru 2200, 3300 engines. This bolts to the crankcase here. Your hall sensor goes here and we have a split disc to mount onto the crankshaft to hold the uh, triggering magnets. Similar piece for the six cylinder Lycomings. As well as the four cylinder Lycoming. Got fuel pump covers for Lycoming and uh, Rotax and the Jabiru. The uh, Hall Effect sensor brackets, the Hall Effect electronics go in here. We've got the dual type and the single type. Air temperature sensor mount, this is mainly for Lycomings. Bolts to your air box, holds a temp sensor, makes installation very easy. Cylinder head temperature sensor adapter. This is for Lycomings again. This goes into your primer port. Screw the sensor in there. Installation done in about one minute. And finally we've got the uh, dual fuel pump module. This holds two Walbro pumps. It's all CNC 6061T6 except for the uh, all the fittings here are 7075 for maximum strength again. These are double O-rings sealed, all of them with Viton O-rings. Stainless steel hardware. Has an integral fuel filter in here. You can have that on the inlet or outlet side, whatever you choose there. And these are probably the nicest fuel pump module on the market. Some of the other ones are not so nice. A little bit hokey in my opinion. This one's uh, very strong, very light, very nice. 
that's about all I have to show you today. Hope you found that interesting and informative. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.